I have some pesky summer weeds that I need to go ahead and take care of before I do my fall aeration, overseeding, dethatching, all that kind of good stuff. And so I'm gonna put together a quick cocktail to hopefully knock out as many of these as possible. Before I do that, let's go ahead and take a look at what I'm going up against. First and foremost, we have spurge. This is actually a good example of where grass doesn't grow, weeds will grow. Now you can hand pull spurge, but spurge has a central tap root that if you don't get up the full thing, like that was actually a pretty good one, it's just gonna grow back. So it also is very aggressive and it smothers. We need to get rid of spurge. Here's spurge that is creeping over my actual lawn. See how lengthy it is. Also, we are dealing with clover that hung on tight. And lastly, because my pre-emergent ran out, we have a little bit of crabgrass that is still that's actually a pretty good pull, but we need to go ahead and get rid of this too. Also have some one-off weeds, like whatever this is. I'm gonna try to hand pull this. Oh, look at that. Some of that. I think this is thistle. Another one. I will say a lot of these weeds could have actually been prevented. Not so much clover, but definitely the crabgrass, the spurge and anything else that actually goes to seed could have been prevented had I kept up with my pre-emergent application. I did the one application of prodiamines at the beginning of the season, uh, but I did not come back, uh, I think it's like two weeks or, you know, when temperatures get to 75 degrees, you come out with it or 65 degrees, whatever it is, you go back and you do a second application. I never got to that second application, so that is when everything started coming, including a lot of crabgrass. But this just goes to show, if you have a nice thick lawn, weeds struggle to grow. If there's any sort of thinness in the lawn, weeds are gonna take advantage of that. To prove that, here I got a nice thick piece of turf here. Came in really well with the renovation last year. And there are virtually no weeds. I'm double checking, but yeah, there are like no weeds in this general area where the grass is nice and thick. Where grass is thin, you have crabgrass, you have the spurge, you have the clover over there. Thin grass, plenty of weeds. Thick turf, no weeds. So basically a nice thick turf with a good pre-emergent application, you can v pretty much be weed free. Not completely weed free, but mostly weed free. So to treat these three weeds, here is what I'm gonna be applying, this Monterey Spurge Power. It's a three-way, which focuses actually on dandelions, chickweed, clover, oxalis, spurge, wild violet, and other broadleaf weeds. So this will work on your spurge and your clover, which is what I'm battling here. Then also for the crabgrass that I have, I use Drive Accelerate, which is just concentrated quinclorac, which is what kills crabgrass. I'll also be adding a non-ionic surfactant to make everything stick to the leaf tissue really well. I do want to say with the Spurge Power from Monterey, it is a ester-based formula and something I learned last year, if you're familiar with Speed Zone, which is a really good one to treat your clover, it doesn't do well in the heat of the summer. It really thrives in cooler temperatures. The reason I'm applying this now, and it is early to mid-August, is because here in East Tennessee, we actually have an extended period where our daytime temperatures aren't supposed to get over 85 degrees. So hopefully that is cool enough between the heat of the day and the coolness of the morning and evening that this will activate and get the job done to go ahead and kill the majority of the weeds that I have in the lawn. Anything that's left over, hopefully tenacity will take care of when I actually put seed down. For spurge power, it is one ounce to 1.25 ounces per 1,000 square feet. So total yard size, I have 2,000 square feet in the front yard, but the main area is 1,500 square feet. So I'm gonna do just shy of two ounces of spurge power. Drive Accelerate. Drive Accelerate is 1.45 fluid ounces per 1,000 square feet. So that's just over two ounces of this product. Just over the four ounce line, or just around the four ounce line. 
One thing I found weird about Spurge Power is that it does ask for two to five gallons of water per 1,000 square feet. So I went on the low end of that. I went with one, or I'm sorry, I went with two gallons of water, which means for my 1,500 square feet, I need three gallons of water for the product. So that's what I got here in the backpack. It does mention irrig irrigation. If you have access to irrigation, you can use the lower amount. So while I don't have ingrown irrigation, I do have sprinklers, so I'll water it in if I need to. But I think we have rain coming overnight, so this will have time to sit on the lawn before that rainstorm comes. I did go ahead and switch out my nozzle from the, to the fan tip from my air induction, which is what I used for soil applications because I want this stuff to sit on the leaf blades and with my fan tip. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply. I am wearing my full P PPE gloves, boots, pants. Don't have a long sleeve shirt on because it's hot, so I'll just be careful. I do have my glasses somewhere around here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this on the lawn. I'm going to see you in a few days to give you an update. Why not go ahead and give me a thumbs up as that is what helps grow the channel. Also comment down below any thoughts, comments, concerns that you may have and I'll get to those as soon as possible. Thanks. It has been eight days since the application of Monterey's Spurge Power and Drive Accelerate. So I want to go ahead and show you those results and then go ahead and maybe talk about next steps. This was the first area I showed in the video and you can see here it is definitely uh, turned yellow. There's a little bit of green left, but a lot of it is dying. Here's some more that is actually just in the lawn and you can see here looking pretty pale and is dying. Some more in the lawn getting crispy. The clover, uh, it is dying, but it's still holding on. Clover is one tough weed to to get rid of. So hopefully uh, the, the tenacity that uh, takes care of a lot of this. But here's some a big piece of crabgrass that was uh, in my yard. And you can see it is definitely turning colors here and just looking... Um, worse for the wear. Uh, so what I am going to do is actually I'm going to come back out with my grandpa's weeder and I'm going to pull out a lot of this crabgrass because it just doesn't need to sit here in the lawn, thus taking up space for my good grass when I do my overseed. Now a big area here is along my sidewalk. This area really thinned out because I went away on vacation and uh, the sprinkler setup sort of went wonky and uh, water did not for over a week. No water. It was like 90 something degrees. So this area just cooked and the grass went away. So Spurge crept in, but you can see it is pretty much yellow and crispy along here, especially here on the parkway strip. Now my side yard struggled a bit more. Uh, it didn't have as good of results as the main yard but you can see a lot of the clover here uh, is wilting um, so the clover is getting hit um, but you can see a little bit of the crabgrass that's here did start to go but a lot of it did hold on like here's some spurge and clover that really didn't react all that much and i'll explain why one thing before I wrap up, I do want to say that I did have rain about an hour after I applied this combination on my side yard, which is about 600 square feet. Now, I think what happened is my main yard I had enough time to dry, which is about 1500 square feet. So I didn't really have that much wash away. But on the side yard, I think there was still uh, still wet on the leaf tissue. So the rain washed away. It wasn't supposed to rain. It was like less than a 30 percent chance of rain. But then we got one of those stray uh, afternoon evening thunderstorms we get sometimes in East Tennessee and it washed them away so I'm gonna put some b-roll up the side yard is struggling and uh, holding on a little bit stronger than the main yard I'm not gonna apply anything else though because I am getting ready to seed within a month so I'm just gonna wait until I get to my tenacity application when I do my overseed Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up as that is what helps grow the channel. Why don't you comment down below, what is your go-to herbicide application when you have a broad spectrum of stuff you need to get rid of? Uh, is it a spectricide weed stop for lawns? We'd be gone. Or you mix something up like I just did. Comment down below and share that information. I will see you all in the next video. Have a fantastic rest of your day and God bless.
Oh, and stay tuned because later on this week, as of posting this video, I am going to pick a winner of the two lawn leveling tools I'm giving away, the Rockland Industries and the Ham Row Rung. I'm gonna link to that video down below that I talk about that giveaway so you still have a moment to enter, but just pay attention this week as I'm gonna upload a video. It's only gonna be online for a few days to make sure I get the winners. And then I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. So if you haven't entered that competition or that contest, that giveaway, just check out that video down below. I'm gonna go ahead and close with a prayer. As always, check out uh, my email down below in the description, as that is an email I set up strictly for prayer requests. You can go ahead and be as anonymous as you want or whatever, but please share those because those are just between you and me. And I do believe that when two or more gather together, God is there. So between me praying and you praying, we can go ahead and hopefully make a difference. So dear Lord, name of Jesus, I just thank you for today, Lord God. Thank you for letting this combination work, Lord. And even though the rain washed away my stuff, thank you for that rain. You got to sort of take what you can get. And even the timing was a bit weird. It still worked out in one way or another, God. I pray for everyone watching this video, any unspoken prayer request, healing, financial, something with family and friends, God, whatever the case may be, just be with those prayer requests. Give courage for people to email me in that box below so I can pray with them, Lord, uh, more specifically. But I just thank you for everything that you do, God. Thank you for letting us share this bond in lawn care, enjoying working in the lawn together. Be with everybody that is watching this video, God. Be with them. Bless them abundantly, Lord. I thank you for all you do. In your name, amen. I will see you all later. God bless.